a region in ruins. Agdam was once a prosperous city. Now it's barely recognizable and most of it is in ruins. Agdam was one of the most advanced provinces of Azerbaijan. It was such a green city with fresh water from the surrounding mountains. It had a peculiar way of life, even had a theater drama hall back in the 1930s. It was the hometown of world-famous scholars. You could find anything in its bustling Grand Bazaar. There were 10 big schools in the city where Azerbaijani and Armenian teachers were working together. Then the war started. When the Armenian army captured Agdam three decades ago, the heavy fighting forced the local population to flee east. Armenian forces destroyed some of its roads and buildings and used it as a buffer zone until they lost control of the city to Azerbaijan in November last year. But as they retreated, they left behind more than 100,000 landmines. Shortly after seizing control, Azerbaijan began a major cleanup operation with the goal of making Agdam inhabitable again. But that could take years. We are constructing a road from the town of Bada to Adam. The road is 45 kilometers long. There will be four bridges over it. And also the pipelines which will carry the water to Adam will be laid alongside the road. Now we are flattening the road and soon we will start pouring cement. Despite all efforts, the work goes on slowly because this region is heavily mined. It's now a long and complex road to economic recovery. But Azerbaijan's government says it is determined to transform regained territories like Agdam into areas of high-tech development, based on what it calls the smart city concept. We have the master plan which was adopted, uh, where according to this plan we are going to uh, implement the, a lot of the project uh, concerning the road construction, the, uh, concerning the, uh, the utilities, uh, and the, also the here we are uh, use the green energy, we are use the contemporary uh, world technologies here, like the innovative technologies. So all of this work uh, we are uh, planning to do here. But that could be easier said than done. With no basic facilities in place, it will remain a challenge for the government to attract people to come back. This city may be deserted, but it's not forgotten. And while an end might not be in sight, for the first time in decades, Agdam has hope. Resul Serdar, Agdam, Azerbaijan.